not, um, not in the same sense. Yeah, we're actually segueing right into our next topic. Yeah. Bread and butter. Bread and butter. Uh, oh, mobile, toast. mobile gaming versus console. Ah, yeah, I'm really about this. Yes, the, the bridge between them is no more. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, a lot of your 3DS games are basically Nintendo 64 plus games. Yeah. You know, with more save slots. With <coughs> save opportunities. Yeah. yeah. Um, the way I see it, uh, console, it, if we take away mobile from it, which is talking about like console versus handheld, okay. they've never been the same. Thing. No. No. As far as it, even even oh. like immersion, like I can get really immersed in Pokemon, mm -hmm. but not in the same way as if you're on TV. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like in like extra like, like, darkness. Mode. Yeah. Like yeah, as much as that game. That game was shorter too, and like I, I mean, I just really. Please do. There's something about like like I've been playing Monster Hunter all week. They get man. On the series. Yeah, Monster, the new Monster Hunter. It's only on oh, the four, four. Yeah, Monster Hunter four. Ah, and I have yeah, three on the Wii U. And it was so cool because when I first got it, I was like, you know, this this is a game Josh used to play. I got him to come over, yeah, it was awesome. and he played it and loved it. But now I'm thinking about 3DS, and I'm like, the only way I can show off like my abilities is if everyone's crowded around me watching me mm -hmm. play. Or if yeah, everyone else has the game. Yeah. I have a question. How's like the how how does it compare in terms of scale? Monster Hunter. Yeah. yeah. To the one that's on well, the console. It's about the same. But you can get the graphics are obviously a lot worse. Yeah, a lot worse. But see, I Monster like Hunter 3. A lot worse when it's on yeah. yeah, Monster Hunter 3 was on the 3DS and the Wii U, and you could play, work, play together like that. But yeah. see, that's that's what I was telling when he asked me. I think like a game that is on mobile, or even like a handheld, you know, they're not 100% capable of doing what a console would be able to do, you know, in terms of graphics or scale or something. Yeah, you know, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, like, like, you know, somebody saying that the same that, type of game just doesn't really work. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, there's people who said, you know, that consoles are irrelevant now because we have these handheld and mobiles, but they can't do what they can do. I mean, you know, I mean, I can see it, like, maybe in the future, if you have some super powerful handheld thing that can do everything they can do, then maybe. Well, we'll see. Here's Steve, the thing about that. At the when very you, least, it's like, maybe just if a console would go out of style, it would just sort of be replaced by the computer, basically. Yeah. See, uh, even, I don't know what mm -hmm. when, when you look at the evolution of the game, like, um, when, you, when you compare console gaming to mobile gaming, or not mobile, but Tanto, when you look at what the Game Boy could do when the, when the 64 was out, for example, right. compared to what the PlayStation 4 can do, compared to the, the the Wii U or something, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, or not the Wii U, uh, the 3DS. Okay. Yeah. So like the, like the 3DS, I think the 3DS at now, with today's technology, the 3DS could easily pull off a PlayStation 2 game. Oh yeah. Or like a, a GameCube well, game. Two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, games like 64 games, yeah. it could pull it off. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. But see, like, even with like Xenoblade, it won't, Xenoblade won't run on a regular 3DS, it has to be on a new one with enhanced power. Um, See, I mean, I haven't even seen people say that, you know, that you can get Skyrim on a mobile device. Yeah, and it's like, there's no way! Well, well, I mean, like, Skyrim is oh, really, man. really, really, uh, I don't know what the word is, but it's able to run on a yeah. I don't know why. Like, uh, Bethesda's done. With yeah. But I mean, like, my computer can run. And... <laughs> <laughs> no, the most powerful. Uh, my, my, my main issue with it is, um, I don't think it's a, a debate on, on whether, you know, which one's better, mobile or console yeah. or more versatile. I think it's, it's a different. I think they should work together because yeah. there's always been that debate between PC and you know console games. There's always been a debate yeah. between handheld and console games. So yeah. I don't see, like I, I said to you, I can't remember how it was, but like when you look at it, like when the internet came out, it didn't replace the newspaper. No. When, um, it came really, really close, though. I know, but some yeah. people would say it, it's going to end. And, yeah, and well, stuff yeah, like after, like we have wow, our, our smartphones, and we really. can get like the downloadable yeah. uh, magazines now. But it's not replacing magazines. The Kindle came out, and uh, like Amazon Prime stuff, it's not replacing yeah. magazines. That stuff, you know. But, when when you when you you can argue 
uh, well, DVDs replace VHS. Let's see, but to me, a home video is a home video, whether yeah. it's VHS, DVD, Blu ray, mm -hmm. or whatever it contains. Well, right. see, it's kind of like, you know, basically the preference. Like you said, you know, like newspaper or, or a magazine, you know, is available on the internet. You can get it on your smartphone. And some people would probably prefer that, but then there's some people who would actually like to buy it and have it in paper. Almost always prefer it. Yeah, well, see, that, that's like me. You know, I, I prefer it to be, like, visible and in my hand. I mean, like, and also, like, in terms of the experience, I would rather be sitting back watching it on a big screen TV with headphones on, you know, completely immersed into it instead of, like, a handheld. Not that you can't get immersed in it. I never played a remote. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, I think, I think it's yeah, more it's likely that, that the companies will... Preference. I, I can see more way more likely of there being one device that you have to plug into your TV that Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft will put their games on yeah. sort of like digitally mm -hmm. and never make physical copies anymore. Oh, so then I can the, the phone replacing console. So yeah. sort of like that that PlayStation, not really, but sort of like the PlayStation TV. Or yeah. Even like, yeah. You know, like this, the Roku sticks or Amazon. It was just sort of stick it in the side of your TV. Yeah, it's more or less the screen and stuff. Yeah. See, right. I, I, I just think, you know, sort of plug and play consoles. Yeah. See, each one will have its own audience, more or less. And there was a guy I was uh, debating on this topic with, and he was talking about how um, he was trying to prove to me how it makes sense. But then he contradicted himself because he said, for example, he'd be riding the bus home and build his spaceship, lay his home, plug his phone in, launch it into battle. What's he plugging his phone in? But that, that's the thing, like, if your phone can't handle launching your ship that you just built into the battle, then that's that's mobile and console yeah. working together. Whether it's a device for that or whatever, that's what I'm trying yeah. to say there. Like, that would be really cool. Develop an app. Say there would be more integration across. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't sort think... Sort of like, see like, like Xbox Glass? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, I mean, there's even, like, games you can control with your phone, like Beyond Two Souls. I mean, mm -hmm. that's controllable with the phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's just like so, but I, th I see that happening. Like yeah. I see them working together more than I do against each other, and yeah. it makes sense to me. Like I, I mean, I still think they're going to be two completely separate things. They are. Totally. Yeah, they are. They're, they're going to be more integration. Yeah, we'll always be separate, working in harmony. You know, a lot more often. And, and another another good point about phones too is, I'd say about at least ninety five percent of the games you you're going anybody is going to play with phone are those time wasters. Yeah, like that's, you know, games that are, are easy, simple, you know, like Flappy Bird. Like Arcadish. I've got five minutes in between uh, my next meeting or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, like, see, that's, that's the kind of I've got minutes. Yeah, I mean, like the most, uh, I guess the most involving ones that I have is like Carnivores, the original Carnivores. I have that one, and I have like uh, that new Halo game, Spartan Strike. Yeah, those are. Now, isn't that like a real time strategy? Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's actually just like a. a god. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like it's like a shooter, but it's like one of those. Oh, get it, no, see, for, your place to sharpen your claws. <laughs> for me, I have one. Yeah, it's it's not it's not on rails. It's like a. Oh, I only have one game. You only have one. You know, like a, what do you call it? Like a uh, you just like hold the stick. It's like a stick shooter. You know, like yeah. a, you just kind of like uh, like, like zombies. Uh, the Call of Duty sure. Zombies thing in Black Ops 1, you know, talking about like the arcade, like when you push the stick that way, you're shooting that way. Yeah, well, it's like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah oh, exactly. It's exactly that. like Robot I, I, Run. I like, oh, yeah, I love those kind of games. Yeah, yeah. That, that's I what it's... Like that, really. see, see, games like that make perfect sense for this, yeah. but I just, I can never see me like, you know, sitting down. And then, then my last argument over the thing is like, look at the party game drop. It's it was also well, I mean, like, for example, um, can you can you imagine playing uh, Mario Party? Like, I'm talking about like lo local local multiplayer. Is what I'm talking about. Like, uh, like today, like when we play Mario Party, can't, I can't imagine that not, happening. Not the way it is. Phones. Not Mario no, Party. Not the phone. But I can, I can Mario see Party, like, something I like see. Mario Party. Sort of like it's almost more like an emulation for a board game. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be. They did it, it has to be way too Local bad. multiplayer on phones. Yeah. I don't know, it'd have to be probably built up 
you know, on the phone, like, and it had to be a really toned down version. And then, I don't know, man, it'd be hard to figure out everything for that. I mean, like, but they're short and they're Yeah. 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 But it wouldn't be all that, be like, pass it. Pass it. Yeah. Like, pop it. Pop it. <laughs> pop it. Yeah. Street. Street. yeah. <laughs> so I mean, that, there's ways they could do it, but yeah, that I don't think that it'll ever compare. Like the way, the way, like I, I showed, you, like I, I could draw like a timeline actually. Like you know, at the time this console was out and it could do this much, the handheld at the time could only do this much. Yeah. So the phone can only do this much, and I think it'll always be in that pattern. Like you know, this will always be able to do more than this, and this will always be able to do more than that. Mm -hmm. Right. And the thing about the phone, it, it's all, it's never going to be specific. It, the, any gaming application is always secondary to everything else. Exactly. Oh, at least it has been. Phones make strange decisions. 